Hi you guys and welcome back to my channel. Um, today is going to be about waist hinging, waist center, like an update, like a real like, basically it's just a Q&A, facts, frequently asked questions, stuff of that nature. Um, of course I get tons of messages about it. I didn't know um, my video would be a hit like it was uh, when I uploaded it and I'm still getting lots of feedback from that till this moment actually um, about that and the butt lifter but this video is particularly about the waist center and um, I have um, the top 10 questions that I get asked all the time or just always just come up so number one is does the waist center hurt? No, it does not hurt at all. It should not hurt if it hurts. I mean, there's a difference between pressure because it, it is latex slash rubber. So, I mean, it is going to grip your body, but it should never hurt your body. So, no, it does not hurt. Um, how, um... How long can you wear it? You can wear it anywhere between 8 to 10 hours uh, minimum. Um, I wear mine between 8 to 10 hours, period, anyway. Try to, I try to keep it on low as I can. So, that's just me. But it's definitely recommended for 8 hours. It's up to you if you decide to go longer. Next question is, can you sleep in it? Yes, you can sleep in it. I have lots of customers who sleep in there. It's actually even better because you get your eight hours right then and there. Take it off for another about, but for a couple of three, four hours. Breathe, wash, wash your behind, <laughs> and put it back on. So, yeah. Definitely you can sleep in it. Um, should it be hard to put on? Yeah, put on when you first get it. Yes, because you do not want to get anything that you can just put right on and it's not doing what it's supposed to do. It's supposed to be tight, you know. So, why would you get something that's like loose fitting? Just like with a pair of pants or tights, you don't want nothing loose on you to not, to not show your shape or whatever you may have, your curves. So, therefore, you want something firm fitting to fit your body and to hold you in correctly. So definitely, yes, it should be hard when you first put it on. You can, I'll get to that question next, but yes, the answer is yes. It should be hard when you first put it on. Because when I first put mine on, my vest, I had <laughs> I had Ron to help me. And to now, I don't need Ron to help me at all because I'm on my second notch and I think I need time for me to go down to a lower one. So I'm going to think I'm going to go ahead and try to put on a lower one. But um, yes, it should be hard to put on the first time you put it on. Next question, um, how do you wash it? Definitely do not put it in the washing machine, you guys. Uh, so you sink up with some nice warm water, cool water, whatever, but definitely not too hot. But warm water, put a little dish detergent in there or laundry detergent, whatever you, what you want to use. And um, just dip it in there, whatever. Do not wring it out, kind of like... Squish it out, but not wring it out, and let it hang or hang over your shower or out the door to air dry, to drip dry, so it can be clean and dry. Because you definitely cannot put it in the dryer, and you definitely cannot put it in the washing machine. That's a no-no. You will tear it up, and definitely wash your, the dryer will melt it. So, next question: um, How do you know what size to order? You order by your appropriate shirt size, not something. That's like you were like, <laughs> like you wear you a three X, but you putting on one or two X. No, ma'am, that's not your appropriate shirt size. No, you wear the size that you actually kind of loose on you now. Like right, right now with me, I don't even have my on right now. Actually, I'm going to do a video on that. But the shirt is long. Hold on, let me pull it down. But yeah, see how loose this is. It's, this is not really my appropriate shirt size. This is like a 3X. And um, I wear a 3X cincher. So I think it's time to go down the size. So yeah. Definitely order by your appropriate shirt size though. Definitely do that. Um, 
Oh, also, if you know your measurements, I can tell you right offhand what is specific for your measurement. So, it, yeah, you could do that too. Um, when it, which is best, the vest or the waist cincher? The vest is what I wear. I'm also getting, I'm also going to put on my cincher for you guys on another upcoming video. But, um, because I never put the cincher on, which is just the stomach part. I never wore that. I always wore the vest. But I want to wear the cincher because I'm getting married and I cannot wear my vest. And I'm going to have like a, my strapless. So I cannot wear that. So I'm going to have to have my waist one. So I'm definitely going to show you how you put that one on. So to me, I, um, it all depends on your shape, your body type, and what you have. If you have the fat back back here like I have, see that the fat back? You need a vest. Plus size women need a vest. Period. Get a vest, put on your bottom, and call it a dang day. Because the vest is going to smooth out the rolls in the back. If you're on my Instagram, you have saw the pictures of many, many plus size women who wear the vest and how they look. Before and afters are phenomenal. Phenomenal. So a vest is definitely if you're a plus size girl and you have the little fat back, definitely get a vest. No questions asked. If you just have stomach or a pudge or whatever, get the waist. Otherwise than that, fat girls, let's keep to the vest. Unless you just want one, but which I go up to 5X. So, I mean, you can wear both, but I would prefer just for everyday regular wear, get the vest. If you want to wear something that you don't like, strapply something, get the waist. It's all basically up to you. I want my fat back covered, so I'm, getting, I'm wearing my vest. Next question is, um... They're both great, by the way. So, yeah. Um, next question. Does it roll up? Uh, I would say no, because mine never rolled up before. Um, I have seen some people mention that, not my customer, well, actually, God forgive me, I take that back. I did have one to two customers that all I sold waist centers to with. Theirs rolled up. Now, one of them has to be one of my friends, and they also have the short waist cinchers and the long waist cinchers. It all depends on your torso. And she, I told her, and I saw her, I said, yeah, you probably needed a short waist one. You know, you can tell if your body, your middle section is long, your torso is long or short. And she basically needed a short one instead of a long one. So if, if it rolled up, I mean, you maybe needed a different size as far as torso short or long um where can i purchase you can purchase my waist centers at avishnikaccessories.bigcartel.com and so you also can email me at avishnikaccessories at yahoo.com to ask many questions um i just Gave you much of majority of all the questions. I'm pretty sure I did answer some of your questions. Number 10 question. I don't even have a number 10. I think it basically cover all. But order. Order today. I'll talk to you next time, you guys. That was my facts, questions, and answers for you guys that you always frequently ask. So you be blessed. The request. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram. And I will talk to you next time. Bye babies.